Okay, so the objectives of this video is to explain to you transform sections and this is just carrying on from the previous theoretical video which talked about stresses and strains in the composite beam. So let's assume the following cross section made from materials elastic modulus 1 and 2. The first one has an elastic modulus of 200,000 which is enough perhaps steel. The second one is just made out of 100,000 elastic modulus which it could be any material but this is just an example. Okay, so we can convert material 1, which is the red one, into material 2 by multiplying the width by a factor of the modular ratio, which is n, over uh, which equals to E1 divided by E2. So to convert into material 2, we divide elastic modulus of 1 by 2, which gives us 200,000 on 100,000, and um, this equals to 2. So now the width of the red material, since we transformed it, is double of what it was. So we do 2 times the original width. And now the whole thing is just made out of material 2. So once again, let me repeat myself. Converting the following cross-section into material 2, we do um, E1 divided by E2, which gives us 2. So now the new width of the transformed material, which is the red one, is double what it was. So we do 2 times the red width. And the following um, cross-section is, is now just material 2. So the red material, which was up here, has now transformed into the blue one and has doubled the width. But bear in mind that the, this has nothing, this did not change the neutral axis. The neutral axis is still in the same position. As you can see here, the neutral axis was just above the bottom of the red material and now the location of the neutral axis over here is um, still approximately the same. Now wh what's the benefit of having a transformed section? Instead of having 